Yeah. Khalil, did it seem like UCLA <coughs> did some different stuff than maybe Colorado did to try to take away your running game, and how did you try to counteract that? I mean, yeah, I saw they had a certain game plan. You know, I saw what they, their tendencies, and I saw our offensive line react and respond to that. How did it help you to establish that 45 yard TD run early and maybe get things going throughout the game? I mean, it helped with the line, you know, blocking downfield, receivers blocking downfield, and then also them just staying patient. Your timing seemed to be good with the wide receivers. Talk about the relationship you have with those guys. I mean, it's only your second game of the season. I mean, you know, every day after practice, you know, we try to get extra throws in and try to work on stuff just to get timing down and perform on the field. How much more comfortable are you running this offense than maybe you were before the season started? I mean, I'm a lot more comfortable, you know, being understanding more, being more knowledgeable of the offense and offensive line blocking as good as they do and receivers staying patient, it helps a lot. Uh, what, what changed in that second half that kind of allowed you guys to get more pressure on? Um, I think we just... Our coach was just talking about get-offs all week, so I think it was just a practice thing. It just turned in. He told us that the second half, they're gonna they're a team that comes out and fights, especially in the second half. It's what they're known for, so we had to just turn up one more notch. So I think I don't think it was nothing much, but just uh, just more intensity. A couple of those were unblocked. I mean, was that just you guys stunned a little? Yeah, we were running stunts. Uh, we didn't feel that they were that um, as good in movement in terms of protecting. Uh, just in movement and stuff like that. So we're trying to stunt, move our D linemen as much as possible, stuff like that. Will, how would you describe first the atmosphere out on the field and then what it was like in the locker room uh, after the game? <clears throat> I mean, it was a great team quality win. You know, um, we came out, we fought, you know, all week. We practiced hard, and then before the game, you know, we, there was some stuff said, and we really just used that as motivation, and then we came out and we performed. What do you mean there was some stuff said? Like by UCLA? Or yeah. Like out in the field, trash talk or whatever? Yeah, just a little trash talk. What does it mean to you guys to beat UCLA and snap a, uh, snap a losing streak to a, to a common opponent like that? I mean, it means a lot. You know, we haven't beat them in five years, and that's half a decade. So really just to get that burden off our chest and finally beat a SoCal team, it helps a lot. And next week we have Kyle. Also, I would like to say that I think it's just really cool in terms of uh, – I feel like it, this was a real big confidence boost because most of this team is from California. And uh, just to go against kids that you've been playing against in high school or Pop Warner, I think it's pretty cool to come out and get this win. How, how are you different, Khalil? A year ago, to, almost to the day, you get your first start. Now you get this one again. And how, how have <coughs> things changed for you? Uh, well, I'm a year older, you know, so I'm, I'm 18. My uh, birthday's coming up. And really just, you know, like I said, being understandable, being knowledgeable of the offense and defense playing well, we can do anything. What do you think has been the secret to all this? You, you look like a different guy. Uh, I'm the same person, you know, <laughs> same person. Haven't changed. Been doing it since high school. <laughs> how conscious of you were, how conscious were you of the fact that, you know, Rosen had led some massive comebacks early in the season. You just had to keep, you know, keep getting after him in the second half, no matter what the scoreboard was. We just knew that we couldn't, um, we couldn't take the gas off. That was just one thing that was, the most important. We've seen what he did against A&M and stuff like that. So we just knew that we had to just keep going no matter what. We had to get a hop on him early and just continue to bring pressure and just uh, make plays in the defensive side. Coach Rod said this was the best that this defense <coughs> played the ball this year. Would you agree with that? With all the oh, yeah, up? absolutely. Just we looked way more aggressive in terms of going up for the ball and stuff like that. We weren't afraid to try and if we felt like there was going to be a route that we could hop, our corners was hopping them. So it was pretty good on their part. I'm curious, Claude, during the week, I'm sure you heard, or maybe you didn't, about your your classmates or whomever saying, can you do it again after last week? Did you hear that, and, and how did you handle that, if you did? I mean, you just told me, so I, I found that out. But um, other than that, I mean, I just kept on practicing hard, you know, kept on motivating my team and trying to get a victory. Do you think you've played well enough to earn a national nickname now? Um... <laughs> I guess, you know, it is what it is, whatever. I gave you the name the Desert Ghost. Desert Ghost? The Desert Ghost. Uh, Halloween is a few weeks. <laughs> OK. Anything else for either of these two guys? Sure. Um, what, did you, what did you guys see from Cal last night, if you guys watched the game at all? <clears throat> um, I saw the game. You know, they are very physical, you know, a great program. Um, offens offensively, they do well, you know, and getting the ball downfield. Defensively, they make plays, so that's what I saw. 
one yard run. It looked like that guy, you bobbled the ball at first, and the guy maybe had a shot at you in the backfield. Um, well, I just kind of juked him. He just did a Khalil. <laughs> That's what we call, we call in practice, just doing a Khalil. That's just what he do. Athletes joining us, uh, cornerback Chase Whitaker and running back Nick Wilson. Can you direct your questions to these guys. Chase, what does it mean to end this losing streak against UCLA? Well, it means a lot. The most meaningful thing, though, is that we got a team win tonight. What do you mean by a, a team win exactly? The team won tonight. Oh, just that, just that the team. <laughs> yeah, okay, just that. Okay. Uh, Chase, did you see something on film when it came to Josh Rosen where you were a little more aggressive tonight in regards to jumping routes? No. I mean, he was great. He didn't. He looked you off when he was supposed to. I mean, he gets talked about being the number one quarterback for a reason. And uh, I think Coach Yates just put me. He trusted me in man coverage tonight, and I did what I was supposed to do, win my one-on-one -on -one battles. This is only the second time in 24 career starts for Josh Rosen, and he hasn't thrown a touchdown in a football game. What does it mean to you as a quarterback to stop him? Uh, personally, I mean, it was a big team thing. It was the defense as a whole. I mean, Kyle Wilburn had four sacks tonight. Everybody was playing aggressive. Nobody was playing timid tonight. We were on all goes. Does it mean more to you guys as California kids to be a school like UCLA? Absolutely. Never liked them growing up. <laughs> Nick, is this the first game where you really felt like the old Nick, I guess, for lack of a better term? Uh, yeah, for the most part. I mean, it was kind of hard trying to get back in the groove and um, had that little ankle tweak um, early in the season. But as I started going, I started picking up, I started feeling just feeling more like myself. Like, I think I had like one of the strongest off seasons I ever had. And, um, and I mean, it kind of showed tonight. I mean, um, it is great to be back where I, where I was. After that tweak, was there a point where you thought, I might not get back to being that player. Oh, absolutely not. No, that's not. I've never been that dude. I've never been a quitter. I've never been one to stop doing me. Um, and I told myself if if it ever got to that point, I'm best point where I walk away. And I haven't felt like that's been me yet. How does uh, Khalil's performances help you guys as a group in the backfield? Oh, it's it's. I mean, everyone focuses on him, so it helps. It helps running backs. So it's pretty simple. Like pretty just straightforward to that. The best thing about it is I have chances to make plays, you know. I mean, we got so many guys that can make plays on defense, and it's, and it's really rare when they choose you and single you out. And it's a man-to-man it's a -man game. This is a man-to-man -man game, and the better man has to win. You like get that 42 yard interception or two touchdowns as a defensive player to score a touchdown. What's that like? Oh man, that's a dream come true. That's one of those things that uh, as a kid when you're growing <laughs> up playing football in the front yard that you dream of and it turned into a reality tonight. Jason, how much were you thinking about your, your dad tonight out there while you were, while you were playing? Oh, that football? was huge. That was huge. This whole week, you know, my dad uh, with him being in the hospital, that's all I could think about. I mean, that man taught me football growing up and so uh, that was all for him tonight. Chase, the, the secondary was one of the question marks at the beginning of the season. Do you think you guys have come, come of age, turned the corner a lot? Uh, we would still like to be a question mark. You know, it keeps a chip on our shoulder. We haven't arrived and done anything yet, really. We still want to be hungry, and uh, the uh, people are going to talk. We're not going to listen. We're going to listen to what the coaches say, what the coaches do, and uh, we play for each other. So uh, that's what it comes down to, as long as we got each other's back. Jason, what's been fun about watching like Kylan and Curtis, you know, freshmen, the true freshmen out there making plays in a big game like that? Right. That uh, that's big time for them. I mean, personal goal for them, that's great. But uh, it's great for me because that just means they're keep they're gonna keep getting better. They haven't reached their peak, and uh, that means for next year, we'll have them as well. A couple more questions for these guys. You, Nick, you mentioned how they're paying a lot of attention to Khalil and that opens things up for you. Did you feel like it was just a matter of time before you and JJ would kind of get things going? 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, once uh, Khalil got in and Khalil was able to, I don't know, the offense seemed to just, just start to run. Um, I was able, I, I kind of have to help Khalil out a little bit, but I mean, for the most part, once he gets going, he just gets going. Anything else? Kylan said, sorry, Kylan said that uh, the move that Khalil made on that touchdown that you guys call that just, what did he call Just doing a Khalil or something like that? Is that, is that, is that kind of how we... Yeah, Khalil, of, Khalil does Khalil, yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you. Thank you, Jace. Thank you, Nick.